Hi there. It's Holly here from Your Past is a Gift. Okay, so working more on our value as human beings because the problem is getting through all the muck, you know, that we're conditioned to believe. All the stuff that is not important, that gets in the way of us seeing the actual truth. It just gets in the way and you can't see it. You know what the truth is. So today we're going to talk more about that because the sooner you can let go of your feeling worthless, of your feeling that you have no value, of you feeling unloved and unlovable and unwanted, all of these things and more. There's so many more things, you know, that we believe about ourselves from what we've been through, you know. So the sooner we can understand that and let that go is when we can start to give value to others because that's what we're here for, to give of ourselves to others, that others may see us, may connect with us. It starts with us, though. It starts here. Because if you're always closed off, that you're not good enough, that you're unlovable, you're always looking at yourself from that point of view, then you can't open up to share who you are. You can't. It's impossible. Because in your mind, you've already believed, you've got all these walls up in your mind, that you're not good enough, that nobody's going to want you, that no one will want to share their time with you, their life with you anything with you so we need to go back we need to go back and look at the points in our lives where we decided these things you know the pe the people around us or the person I was gonna say it's usually one main figure in the past it could be two it could be both of your parents it could be both of the people that raised you because not all of us have parents you know but we have to look at that dynamic of how they treated us as human beings. And today, for the first time, I want you to step back and look at it from outside. Look at it from their point of view, these people, and how they treated you. And start to look at them as the people that were abused as children, the people that were mistreated as children the people that were made to feel worthless as children, unlovable, unwanted, a disappointment. You know, so many children are treated like they're a disappointment to their parents their whole lives. Doesn't matter what they do, it's never good enough. And so they grow up their whole life that they're not good enough and that's all they know. So once they have their own children, now you're not good enough and nothing you ever do will be good enough for me. Because it starts here. I'm not good enough. So how can you be good enough? You come from me. So that's what I want you to start looking at today. These people that made you feel this way about yourself. It comes from them. It comes from their childhood, from their background, from their upbringing, from what they've decided to drag along with them as kids into their adult lives. And so as you get there and you get to that point and you're looking at that person and you're seeing them as the child that's being abused, as the child that's being put down, made to feel worthless, made to feel useless, made to feel that they have no value, no importance in the world. They're not good enough. They're unwanted. They're a disappointment. Whatever the words are, there's so many. Take the ones you want. They feel rejected. Look at that person that hurt you in that way. Look at them as this, as this small child now. And you're looking above, you're the grown up now. And you're looking at them from outside. And you're watching them take on this abuse and you're watching them take on, some of them, it may be violence. You know, every day, every day, every day. For how many years did this go on? You know, once you can see that, then you can understand why this person treated you in this way. And the most important thing for you to get out of it, 
ever is that it wasn't because of who you are. Now I'm going to say that again because it's the most important thing for you to let go. Once you can see them for who they truly are, for what they've been through, and you understand that they couldn't have done any better because they didn't know how to let it go. They've just been holding on to this their whole lives, this feeling of worthlessness, this feeling unwanted, unloved, unlovable, all of it. Once you can understand that, then the most important thing for you to get is that. They did not treat you this way because of who you are. It had nothing to do with who you are. Because you were just a child. As a child, you've done nothing wrong. You were just born. You came into the world. You've done nothing. So I want you to really think about that. When you're born, you're full of innocence and everything that you learn, everything that you take on is because of what's going on around you. Everything. And how you learn to interact with the world after comes from all these interactions that you've had as a child with the people around you. It's amazing how it all works. But once you understand that, once you get it, and once you realize that it wasn't because of who you are, but because of who they decided to be from their experiences, they've just passed on what was given to them. Then you can, from this moment, from this point on in your life, you can decide that you are valuable, that you are good enough. Because the moment you do that, you can start to connect to others. And in connecting, is that you change lives. That's when the magic happens. When you open up and you allow yourself to connect. That's the whole point we're here. That's the magic. When you open up and realize your value as a human being. It's always been inside of you, always. You've always had it to give. And there are others waiting out there, lost. So many people lost, lost, not knowing what it's about at all. We don't know because we're, we're bombarded from so many different directions of what is important and what we should be doing with our lives. And none of it tells us the truth. None of it tells us that we're here to connect to other people. And not through a phone, not through a Facebook, not through a, not through technology, but looking at each other, talking to each other, being in each other's presence. There's a magic about being with someone, just being in their presence and just looking at them. You don't even have to talk to them, just looking at them, giving them a smile, giving them this reassurance that I'm here and you're here and we're connecting. I love you guys. Remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the messages and I'll see you in the next video, okay? Bye for now.